Linda. And we are the Smoky Mountain Stitchers. And Welcome back. Yes, we're back. <laughs> we're back. It yes. seems like it's been forever. Um, it's been a little longer than usual. Yes, it has been. But, um, you know. Life got in the way. <laughs> I'm saying. Um, I guess we need to say right off, this is a video primarily about cross -stitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think YouTube wants us to say that. I'm yes. not quite so sure that we why, can, but hey. So that we can get put in the right genre. Genre, okay. okay. All right, well then I'll allow that. <laughs> <laughs> and today is July 3rd, yes. 2021, and we would like to wish you a very happy 4th of July for mm -hmm. the United States folks. And um, for everybody else, just for, have a nice weekend. Yes. You know, <laughs> so. it'd be good. Um, you want to... Really thank everybody who uh, commented and liked and subscribed and um, everything over mm -hmm. our last video. Well, actually the last two yes. because Cal did one as kind of a catch-up because mm -hmm. it had been, you know, so long. But we do appreciate all those comments, man. We read every one of them. Absolutely. We try to answer every one of them as we can. Mm -hmm. If we've missed you, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Yes. Um, but we do the best we can. Mm -hmm. So just yes. kind of bear with us. Um, um, we'd like to welcome any new subscribers because I do yeah. know that we have received a, a few new subscribers. So welcome. And those that are returning, we appreciate it. And uh, we hope that you will find us entertaining once again. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to be. Yes, we do. So um, I want to uh, definitely say thank you. I mean, this seems like it was so long ago. Well, um, it's. But it, it has been about been, six weeks. Yeah. Um, everybody who sent all the wonderful suggestions on for what I could do with Cooper. Oh, and gosh, that yes. Say, I mean, thank you so much because actually I think I have a plan for Cooper. Um, I actually looked at him today for the first time <laughs> since I put him away. Good for you. Good for you. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, Cooper was uh, Kathy Barrett pattern that I did and I got this far when I realized that the uh, fabric that I was using was not as advertised <laughs> and I was gaining a quarter inch in length for every inch that I was doing and I was not going to be able to finish him. So I think what I have decided to do is to uh, use part of what I've got there and make a project bag with Cooper. Oh, that would be great. Um, I thought about a pillow. I really did. That was one of the suggestions. Uh -huh. Another suggestion was, and I forget who they said they had seen, but they had added material on. And I thought about that. And I thought, well, you know, I could continue it. Um, but I think because he's elongated, he doesn't have the, the shape in the pattern that I would have liked. Uh -huh. I think I will use a portion of him in a project bag with a pillow the dog is going to get at it there's just no yeah. ways about it and i don't want to have something that i have to put up you know that you never ever see mm -hmm. but if i work him into a project bag then mm -hmm. i will you know i will get some you use. at least get down to where this that's part what is. i thought yes. yep, mm -hmm. i can get some use out of him and um one of these days, I will redo the pattern because I absolutely love the pattern. I'm still not at a, at a point yet where I'm <laughs> willing to put in that time and effort, um, but it will not go to waste. So for all of you who sent your suggestions and your empathies and your sympathies, thank you so much yes. because um, I am going to do that. And once I get it done, I will share that mm -hmm. with everybody but again thank you so much for all the suggestions it was wonderful mm -hmm. really appreciate it all right well i have um one shout out and i would like to shout out frizzy lizzie stitches if you haven't watched her i believe she has got three or four um videos out she um is her name is elizabeth and she is an engineer um and she just started stitching um, this year, I believe, either the end of last year or the beginning of this year. Um, she's uh, she's really cute. Um, she has some great projects, so please go um, check her out. Have you noticed that the people who are starting stitching now, my gosh, they 
dive into these massive yes, projects. Yes, absolutely. I am so amazed at what mm -hmm. they do. I was so timid starting out. Oh, me too. I the little 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 yeah, ones. Yeah, I have think little it's kits just, from. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, I know. I've Lee been, Wards. Yeah. Lee Wards. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I am so amazed, and I think it's wonderful yes. that they just go in there mm -hmm. because that's how you do it. Right. You know, we're still mm -hmm, mm, trudging along and trying all the new stuff and they just pile in and I think it is a marvelous thing. It is. And I have to share an experience that I had. Um, for um, those of you that watched the last video, you all know I had surgery on my elbow. Um, had my stitches out yesterday. Everything's okay. going well. I'm out of my splint, but I do have to keep it wrapped. Um, I do have the movement and everything. It's a little... <laughs> No. Probably how she heard it. No. <laughs> um, it's, it's still a little stiff, um, but uh, the doctor said everything's going well. But um, mom came home during that time period, and I had to get 24-7 care for her, which was, uh, oh my gosh. It was nice, but yet it was a disaster. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But, it's a different experience. Yes. It, it really is. When you have other people in your home... <sighs> As much as they're there to help, it's just it takes some getting used to having that yes. other person there. And it wasn't I had one caretaker that I was there two days in a row. The rest, every single person was new. And so not having the consistency. Anyway, one of the girls um, that was there, she asked me, she was uh, probably I'd say in her 30s, she asked me what I was doing. And I told her I was cross-stitching. And she said, asked if she could see what I was doing. And I said, absolutely. And she said, oh my gosh, that, that looks so f much fun. And I said, well, I said, I can certainly show you how to do it. And she said, absolutely. <laughs> so <laughs> I set her up with a very simple project, gave her the threads, you know, everything like that. She has my Q-snap. Uh, unfortunately, I probably will not be getting it back because I had to let the company go, but, but that's all right, you know. Hopefully, she will have some nice memories of it. We had a blast um, teaching her. She caught on very quickly. Um, and Again, I, what I'm saying about new stitchers, yes. man, they just are well, able it was to just, dive in. It was a, um, it went with some color change, it was ho, ho, ho. Um, and I, it might have been a Lizzie Kate, I'm not too certain. Sounds like it might have been I think been it might have been. Kate. And some of them were solid stitching, and some of them they had to change color like every other row. So there was a little bit of, of everything, you know, a little bit of that. Um, full full cross stitches. But she did fabulous. I really would like to know how she do, does, if she continues on with it or not, because she seemed very excited about it. Um, um you know, I hope that she enjoys it, <laughs> but I really would, I mean, that was fun. I, I enjoyed teaching somebody something See, different. See, now that's cool. You got to share. I did. Something I got, that you love with somebody else. Absolutely, and she enjoyed it, and um, I, I opened up her world. I mean, I, she'd never heard of floss tubes, so I put one of ours on to see what it was. <laughs> um, she, uh, she started looking stuff on, up on Pinterest and that, so I'm hoping that she has some... Um, I hope she continues with it. If not, I hope she has some fond, mem fond memories of it because I, I enjoyed it. I think that's cool. Yeah. That's that's a really that, good that story. That was fun. That was fun. I really yeah. did enjoy that. So um, yeah. Um, so that is my only shout out. Do you have you have some shout outs, my dear? So no, I don't at this time. Um, oh well, yeah. <laughs> it isn't really a shout out. Okay. Okay, but um, I just wanted to. Uh, let people know, which I think most everybody probably knows about um, Sherry Colorado Cross Stitchers Cross Stitch Camp. Yes. Um, that was such a neat idea mm -hmm. this year. Uh, I was planning on taking part in it, and then June got June, away from yes. me. <laughs> and um, <laughs> July's project, basically each month there is a different... Uh, you start a project on the first of the month to complete it by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. um, and there's uh, different little scenarios. The first one, uh, June, was um, a project that had been influenced. Someone else had influenced, influenced you. you. Yes. Um, the second one, uh, July's, was a new-to-you um, designer. designer. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I was going to participate in July, 
but I needed to start a, a project and so I, <laughs> I started it in June so that I you know I can't put myself forward for that one um, I could have picked a different project but I didn't I wanted to start this so I'm not eligible for July if I can hold off um, August is um, a new to you fabric or floss oh. and I have never stitched, stitched on 36 count and I do have a project mm -hmm. that um, calls for the 36 count and mm -hmm. I have everything kitted up if I can stay away from it until August, I will participate in August. <laughs> um, oh, but I did gosh. join the Facebook group, and, you know, I follow it on Instagram. It's mm -hmm. hashtag cross stitch camp, um, and it is so much fun. Uh, people have done some really amazing designs, and I have seen so many designs and designers that I have never seen before. Mm -hmm which is probably going to affect my haul at some point in time, I am certain. <laughs> because Speaking of haul, I think I left part of your haul out in the living room. Did the, you do that? Actually, she did. She uh, left, I uh, shall be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going to leave me I'll with leave this. You. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you get an opportunity and you're, you so desire, you can look up the Colorado Cross Stitcher and... Um, go back through their Instagram feed and there are all the rules on it and there is everything. Um, it, I think it, it's a neat way to uh, get involved with people and what's going on. And uh, Sherry has put out uh, questions three or four times uh, a week in the uh, Facebook group. Uh -huh. And they're fun questions and you learn a lot about the people who are, are doing it. I just think it's kind of a neat That's a neat concept, thing. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, it is Jolly July. Mm -hmm. Are you participating? Pardon me. Yes, I am. I have a sound that I'm doing, and I I would like to be able to do some of um, Melissa's uh, small little ones from um, Pinker and Pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to get um, at least a couple of ornaments done. I won't guarantee more than one because I'm almost done with it. <laughs> I, who knows? I mean, I, I, I would like to do another ornament. I've mm -hmm. done my six that I said is at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do my six. I've done those. So, mm -hmm. um, but then I saw, <laughs> uh -oh. I mean, you can't watch floss tube. I saw this idea uh -huh. and it's like it's percolating in my mind and I'm okay. going mm -hmm. so okay. I cannot commit at this point I will not commit <laughs> but yeah I'm kind of going to participate okay well good I'll be interested to see what it's going to be because she hasn't told me so <laughs> well you know it's like I feel like if I say it then I, I you committed yourself I, to it okay. I'm going to do it and okay. um I think I'm going to do it, which means I probably will do it, but um, okay. we'll, see. we'll see. Well, I will be surprised as the rest of you. How about that? <laughs> okay. Well, we did forget one thing at the very beginning. What's that? Our fan. Oh, no. Oh, we sorry, boys, but we love you. Oh, yes. And, um, and Branson, I will answer your letter. I just got it. I will answer it. And I loved what you said. So for those of you that don't know, we are talking about our biggest fan club. <laughs> who, my grandsons, her nephews. My and, great nephews. Yes. And yes, they they um they love to watch us. Since we are so many uh, states apart, they're in West Virginia and we're in Florida. And uh, so that's their way of keeping track of us. <laughs> um, but um, they're such sweeties and we do miss them. Well, we miss their mother and their father yeah. too. Yeah. And the two older ones that, uh, yeah. hey, Trey and Jada. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love um, those two, man. So, um, yes. Yeah. So, hey, boys, we love you. Be good for mom and daddy. <laughs> See, this what happens when we're not on schedule. Yes. I mean, we get everything. We have notes, okay? Yes, obviously, but... got notes here for pages. <laughs> But still, you mm -hmm. know, this is this is our style. <laughs> Absolutely. We're just it. All right. Um your stitch along. No, I have um oh, I wow. want to do the um okay, I have we have a, a couple of um our notes uh, conflict. Our, our, yes, our notes conflict. Um for those of you that watch Sarah from Sarah Stitches, um we wanted to send our condolences to her. Her mother passed away. Yes. And um 
we know exactly what she's going what she's going through, um, and uh, we do want to send our condolences. And Jessica from oh, I'm going to get this wrong. Jessica, please, please forgive me. Sassing. Sassy Stitches. <laughs> I got it, I think, Jessica. Um, she lost her grandfather, so we would like to send condolences to her. Yes. Ooh, and um, ooh, um, our heartfelt sympathy yes. to, to both, both families. You. Yes. Um, you know, and I, anything I say is going to sound like a platitude, but just know that we are thinking about yes, you. Yes, absolutely. I did contact Sarah because I hadn't seen her for a while. I knew she was going out of town. And just for some reason in my heart, I kind of knew that something had happened to her mom. Um, so she was she was very thankful that I reached out to her. And we would like to send congratulations to Elizabeth Ann from Elizabeth yes. Ann Can Stitches because she got engaged. <laughs> so yes. congratulations, Elizabeth. Yes. We are very happy for you. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so um, my Sal. Okay, my Sal is... Um, what, I have to turn the page because I have my stuff out of order. <laughs> is um, with um, <clears throat> excuse me, Sherry from Willow Creek Stitches, and we started the Prairie Schooler Home for Christmas, and we are doing this top one together. We started it on May first. It is open to anybody. You can do any of the projects. We would love to see what you do. Um, and this is how far I have gotten on mine. So nice. Yeah. I um, love Prairie Schooler. I do too. I do too. And I am doing this on 28 count Joblin. Thank you. Okay. Um, lamb's wool. That's it, so pretty. Yes. And um, Sherry on hers. Nice. Um, Sherry on hers showed hers last week I believe it was. Um, she is starting in a different spot than I am. I started up in the left hand corner and she started in the middle. So I believe that she has the, she has, it's either a church or a school. I think it's the <laughs> school. Um, she has that done. So um, go over and check out her channel and you'll see a different, um, a different aspect of it. Now do you always start in the left, upper left? Yes I do. Me too. I do. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know. Mm -hmm. I I see so many people who start in the lower right, and I'm going. I don't. I'm not sure I could do that. <laughs> no, sure I, I like do that. I like working down because I feel that my stitches lay flatter. Yeah, I don't know why, but I just it just do. seems like the natural order thing. Yes, I go start here, go across, down, mm -hmm. and try to work it. Except on this one, I still started in that corner, mm -hmm. but yeah, and I will. The last one will be that well. And one of corner. and one of my other cells, I had to start in the middle because that's where the project started. So, uh, and that was very strange because I'm so used to that. I think that's where I learned to start was in the middle. Yes, that's where I learned too. Because and then, you find the found the middle of the mm -hmm, pattern and mm -hmm. then worked around, but then yes. eventually. I got, so I measured down my three inches and then started from the corner three and I three. got that from um, Marlene. Oh, I where, don't remember where I got it. Yeah, I think I got mine. We used to have, where my sister lives, um, uh, she, we used to have a cross-stitch store here. Yeah, and it was a nice one, uh, It was too. a very nice one. It was back in the 90s, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 80s, 90s? 90s, yeah. Yes, um, and we went every weekend. Every single Saturday we were in there. Oh, uh, she had frames. frames. She oh, had everything. Yes, it was wonderful. What was the name of it? You something. I know, but I can't remember. I don't either. It's been a long time yeah. ago. But anyway, I think that's where I learned it. I don't know if I learned it from her or if I learned it from um, Marcia, the other girl that was there. Marcia Davis. It's probably where I learned it, too. Yeah. I just don't remember, but mm -hmm. to me, that's just a natural spot mm -hmm. to start. Yeah. Anyhow, what's the hashtag you're using? The this? hashtag is Prairie Schooler Home for Christmas, and I will put that in the um, description box. Okay, cool. All right, so that is that one. Now, we need a fanfare for this because we've got our fully finished objects, and guess who has one? I have a fully <laughs> finished object. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited oh, for it. Oh my gosh. And I will tell you, this has been a, um, this was something else. Um, my mom actually helped me with this. Um, 
my mom is our mom. I know. <laughs> I should say that. But um, I had a the red, white, and blue from um, Pinker and Pumpkin that I showed in my intermediate one two weeks ago right. that I fully finished. And I just put it on this. My intention was to have this frayed around. But I am not able to cut a straight line to save my soul, even when there is material. So I had to try to straighten it up and everything. But I put it on this little cute little clipboard that has a stand to it. Isn't that adorable? And I believe that I got this at either Michael's or Joanne's. I think it was Michael's. Um, nope, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Lobby. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Hobby Lobby. Um... The frame number is 544955, I believe. Right here. Is that uh -huh. it? 544955. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's I'm sure cute. that you can find it anywhere. It also has a place that you could hang it up on the wall if you wanted to. Um, that's but, adorable. Yeah, and I you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't what I wanted, but hey, you know, it's. Uh, that's a story. That's, that's the way life goes. So. Yeah, because. <laughs> Let me tell you, finishing is, is a whole other ball game. Well, I don't have really any room to finish anything, so I have this little <laughs> this little table that you can you can scoot the, the end of it underneath your couch so it kind of goes in the middle of the couch there. Well I had that and I had to try and find a place that I could plug in my um, glue gun. So it was by where mom sits, so I'm there, she's sitting there, so I have this little table and I <laughs> It would just, it was, it took me an hour to do it, believe it or not, because oh, yeah. I didn't, um, I didn't, because the way that I wanted it to, to come out and the way that I cut the material, it just didn't happen. So then I had to try to figure out what I was going to do. And I finally said, you know what? I'm just hot gluing that baby on there and forget about it. So. You know what I'm going to get you for your birthday? What? A big old tub of it. Eileen's tacky glue. Oh God, I never even thought about using that. That is, I, uh, if I use a hot glue gun, mm -hmm. I am blistered everywhere. I cannot handle it. But that Eileen's tacky glue, and bless Lana Pfeiffer's heart because her little thing that she mentions about, she has a damp towel and mm -hmm. a dry towel in her lap mm -hmm. because you're going to get some on your fingers. Mm -hmm. And it's like as long as you have that damp towel there, you can wipe it off, and the dry towel you can dry your fingers. Ah, you got it. Not that stuff. I never and even it gave that a thought. Sets up so quickly. It's yeah. It's that would be so nice quick. because there is you know pulling from the side here. You know, as you can see, it's coming off. Okay. We've so got, I happen to have Eileen's tacky glue. Well, hey, we we will, we'll fix it. So there you go. That is my fully finished object. Yay! Red, white, and blue from Pinker and Pumpkin. Well, <clears throat> since I was away. I was gone for a little bit. Yes. Uh, my husband and I went away very briefly for our anniversary and a quick visit with the kids. But um, with life and everything else, I didn't touch anything for mm -hmm. like three weeks. No stitching, no finishing, no anything. And finishing for me is something that I need to do on a regular basis. Otherwise, it's like, I've never seen this stuff before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I, I posted this on Instagram, but I, I didn't truly post my entire feelings on it. But I did this little piece here, Earth Day, and it's uh, an Emma Congdon. It's from her book. Uh, I've got it in haul. Cross Stitch for the Earth. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, the stitch was so much fun. And I go, it's in a hoop. I've done this. I have finished in a hoop before, but... I sat down to do it, and I had to put Bonna Pfeiffer's tutorial on there because it's like, I've never seen this stuff before. Mm -hmm. Did the back, it's padded, got my circle cut out. Ah, all right, that worked. Okay. So, I go to do this. Now, this is done on, it's got DMC floss. It's a white 14 count uh, DMC Ada. Okay, and if you've never worked with this, it's it's good for like the hoops because it is a very stiff yes. material. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. However, 
kind of goes, we're going to gather it and we're going to waste it. And it's like, what level of you know what have I landed in because <laughs> I bent needles. Because uh, it was so stiff. It was so stiff. It was like unbelievable. <laughs> I'm in here. And, you know, it's probably 110 degrees outside anyhow. Well, it had to be 125 in here. I am sweating to death. I mean, sweat is running in my eyes. It was just, it wasn't pretty. Okay, so, but I did get it finished. It looks great. And um, it isn't exactly what, it didn't go together exactly the way I wanted it to again. Mm -hmm. But I think that's part of finishing the next time I finish one in a hoop, I will either use um, an overdyed 14 count yes. mm -hmm. or I will use a 28 count um, even weave because uh -huh. it is more malleable. Yeah. Um, you can still stretch it to make it taut, you know, you could still do that, mm -hmm. but it will be easier to gather and bring in that fullness mm -hmm. than um, it was on this. But it's a it's a nice sentiment it I like is. it hanging like around mm -hmm. and so it was a fun stitch so there is that one <laughs> always a story then I have finished and this was before I left I had finished this one um, bless our land by Plum Street samplers let me get this in here where you can see that and I was just waiting to finish it and I had a grand idea of what to do with this and then again, I didn't because this was the second one. All these things were sitting here on my finishing table back there. And it bothers me when I have them sitting yeah, there that, a, and yes, they're not finished. So it was like I finished the one in the hoop and I'm going, okay, I need to get on this and get this one done. Mm -hmm. So I did. I finished so it. Cute. It's in a little pillow. I love that. And we have the that on the back and then I should have <laughs> should have operative words I should have left I go with Von Pfeiffer's theory that uh, the, the design needs to be um, the uh, star of the, the mm -hmm, show here mm -hmm. so she doesn't often leave a lot on the edges and I, I go yeah okay that looks good and the design is very busy, so I decided I wouldn't put any trim around mm -hmm. the outside edge. But I had wanted to use the red, white, and blue bows. And I had this little United States up there with a heart in it that I wanted to use on this. Mm -hmm. Well, finding a spot to put it since I didn't leave a whole <laughs> bunch of one. So it's kind of off the edge of it a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think it's cute. It's cute. I, I would have done it a little differently, I think. Um, but again, I hadn't been finishing. And when you're in the groove, mm -hmm. you, you think of things more than the other. My sister sillyly suggested, oh, you need to do a tutorial on finishing. And yes. to that, the answer is no. <laughs> no, I'm not honestly, happening. No, I honestly think... <laughs> but that is something that people, I mean, I believe, and don't get me wrong, the people that put out their, their videos, I mean, we use them and love them, uh -huh. but I think they do a lot of editing. We don't edit, so you would get real <laughs> life of how it is to finish something. YouTube would kick me off. And I think it would be kind of fun. <laughs> she uh, doesn't, so. She, yeah. she says it would be fun. Yeah. Now, um, what material did you use that? What material was that? Uh, this right here? Yeah. That's a 32 count Silver Moon Magana. Oh yeah, Silver Moon, okay. And it's got weak style works, um, uh, classic That's color, color works, works. Okay. and a DMC, one DMC in mm -hmm. here. Okay. So it's got all the call for, because this was part of my birthday thing, it was yep. totally mm -hmm. kitted. Mm -hmm. So I had all the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I like the pattern, I love the pattern. You did good, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Then, my last one that was sitting here finished was um, July by the Prairie Schooler. And I didn't do the long one. I did this little Small. piece here. And I knew how I wanted to uh, finish this one. I knew ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And this one, I have to say, turned out exactly the way I wanted. Yes. <laughs> the third one is the charm. 
I did a flat fold on this and I've got the jute cording around the edge. It has the little sailboats. Um, it has a little red and white ribbon that holds it up. And this one I am well pleased with. And you have the anchor charm. Yes, I've got my little anchor charm That's there. That's cute. So this one, yes, did turn out exactly as I had hoped. Um, I love the flat fold finish, especially for these little bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. um, because you can display them on a shelf. It doesn't have to be like in a bowl right. or anything else. And then they store just, nice mm -hmm. and flat. You can just... Um, wrap them in your tissue and put them away in a box mm -hmm. and you can store many more in a box yes. than you can mm -hmm. with the with the pillows so i think there is um a advantage. lot of it yeah a lot of advantage to this and really um as long as your pieces of board are all the exact same size <clears throat> you are okay. mine would never be the exact size. i have a mat cutter and i have a husband who knows how to use it <laughs> I give him the size I need, and there we go. But so those are my fully finished items. Very nice. For very this very time. nice. Excellent. Don't expect that many the next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. All so, right. So now we're on to FOs, yes. finished objects. All right. Well, I have. Honestly, I have three finished objects. I know. I can't believe it. <laughs> she's, she's been busy. Yes, one arm banded here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take one arm away from her and watch her go. Absolutely. No, actually, it, w it was a little difficult, but um, I did it. It was, it, was, it was all right. The first one that I, well, actually, I finished two from the Prairie Schooler, book number 123, Country Seasons. I finished Summer and Fall. So, the first one that I have is Fall. Those are so good. I love Prairie Schooler. I oh, guess I do too. There's something about their designs. I don't know what it mm -hmm. is. They're just... Um... Yep, there is. And this is, um, this is on 28 count white Monaco. And I used the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is not. This is... Oh, yes, this is Fall. Excuse me. 28 count white Monaco, and I used all the call for DMCs on this. And I think that I have enough left over down here in the bottom that I probably could fit another one right here. So I'm hoping that I can do that. So that is my first finish um, for that. The second one is the summer, and I noticed that I forgot some of the back stitching. So anyway, for the I'm calling it done. I just gotta I gotta finish a couple of the back stitches. That is so cool. So there is summer. And for summer, I used 28 count unknown even weave of <laughs> tan. And again, I used all the call for DMC colors. No, this might be Monaco too. I don't know. That looks nice. I don't know. It, it looks really, be. really nice. And then my last one, and I don't remember if I showed this one or not, was another Pinker and Pumpkin. And it is um, the Sarah Jane 1776 salt box. Um, it's 28 count um, tan unknown even weave, and I used all the call for DMC. This is the one where I have multiples <laughs> on here, but this is the one that I finished. That's cool. And she has really neat designs. She does. She does. Um, I there's just I have I printed all of hers out, so I do want to get those. I do want to start on some of those. So those are my F.O.'s. I only have one. <laughs> I have one. Um, this is Sweet Land of Liberty. It is um, out of the 2016 summer issue of A Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And it is done on a 20 count vintage country mocha. And that's pretty there it is now i attempted yesterday and you you can't tell it i tried to grunge it up a little bit with tea uh-huh you and you you cannot tell it it just i think you have to to do that i think you have to use the walnut crystals or something like that i don't know but i think it's i'm not going to mess with it anymore i don't want to wreck it i want to 
I'm going to finish it. Mm -hmm. um, I think this time, instead of the um, the polyester fiber fill, I'm going to try the lizard litter. You know, I was just going to ask you if you use that in your other pillow. I use the polyester. Polyester, okay. Uh, yeah. But a Vana Pfeiffer tip, once it is packed full and um, sewn shut, then I take it and put it uh, design size down and I use my iron. steam iron mm -hmm. and it I think probably what it does is it melts some of the polyester in there I think it probably would. and it flattens your pillow but it is uh, it is very compact and it, it's mm -hmm. not mushy um, so yeah I do that with that but I thought with this with it being more of the primitive style that I would do something uh, with the lizard litter that maybe isn't mm -hmm. quite as poofy. Yep. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of people are using that, so it would be interesting to see how that. I thought of would walnut shells in that, but I don't know. I think I'll just try the lizard litter and see what see what happens. With I think it. if I was doing a, um, I'm going to call it a, a not like the stand up that you flat fold, but if you were doing a stand up. I think probably the walnut shells because it would be heavier maybe. I don't know. See, I don't know either. I looked at some lizard litter and it was like sand kind of. And I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. I haven't. Um... Well, definitely if you, I, my thought is if you're going to use that, you definitely would have to back, put something on the back of your stitching the whole thing so none of it would come through. Oh yeah, I do. Any, anyhow, um, I always use an interface, both mm -hmm. pieces, and then I also do a lining um, on both the front and the back. Uh, okay. That was another thank you, Vonna Pfeiffer, tip, because once you get that lining back there, um, it, it doesn't allow the light to penetrate, so you can really see your design here. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you don't have that, it kind of, your light goes through mm -hmm. and uh, your design doesn't show as well. So yeah, I, I, I listened to what she said. <laughs> I knew it. It seems to work. There you go. <laughs> All right. So now I think we are into whips. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I have a few whips. Um, the of first, <laughs> yeah, of course I don't have as many. All right, I am still working on my temperature library from Christie's Corner, which I am thoroughly enjoying. And I have gotten all the way through June and I have the first of July out there. Gee, I wonder what colors we're gonna see for the next three months. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Most of our temperatures have been in the 90s here with our feels like up over 100 and some. Oh, it's just, it's muggy as all get out oh and now we have tropical storm elsa, elsa heading our way yeah, yeah that's yeah. uh that's, oh joy oh joy oh joy <laughs> tis the season oh yeah we <laughs> love right, it too so now we do not <laughs> all right then the other two that i have are um two cells that i just started and the first one oh that one is so cute this oh. is jingle jolly joy from Misty Purcell from Luminous Fiber Arts. I saw that. And her second clue came out. The first one was the border, and this is her second clue. And I am doing this on 32 count Murano. Colorway is ice, and it is a Hobby Lobby material. And I did check the count. It is a 32 count. Yeah, boy, do I check yes. it now, too. <laughs> I am using all the call for colors except for two. They were one, and only because I didn't have them, and I wanted to start it, so I, I substituted it. <laughs> Isn't that the way of it, though? Yes, but I substituted it for classic color work. Um, I use, I'm using, um, they called for Apple Fritter using classic color works. I'm using Cupid classic color works, which is a... Um, darker red with a little lighter red so you do get a little bit of the variation and then for this for the classic color works steam broccoli i'm using the color and cotton mistletoe and the hashtag is jingle jolly joy sal and this is where i have gotten so far and i am in the process of ripping it out oh 
Oh, shoot. I forgot that. Yes, I'm uh, my thread caught. Of course. Okay. I have one too many in one of the rows up here, but I was starting with the antlers. Um, and I have to now tear it, tear part of it out. But that's as far as I've gotten. Um, the second clue just came out on the first, so um, not too bad. That's a cute one. It is. I thought I about doing it, and yeah. then I did it. Yeah, uh, it, that's cute. And then the last one that I'm doing, oh my goodness, I forgot to take this out here. I am doing the um, Hello Sunshine by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And I do not have a, a pattern. A, a, um, a photo of this because I get a download um, and it's just the pattern and it, it does not give me a photo of it right so I, I can't show that but um, I am doing this on 32 count Joblin the colorway is Queen Anne's Lace and um, she has two hashtags um, the first one is CCS Sal and the second one is Hello Sunshine Sal so this is as far as I've gotten. Thank I you. have started on the second clues, which is this, this, this. And up here is going to be a, a toucan, which I can't wait to get to. That's cool. So I love the colors. I'm using all the DMC colors. And um, this is the one where I did the all up through here. I did all of this the one-handed with using my Lowry stand. Um, it was interesting because I was in a splint, so I just had my little fingers and they didn't really want to come together. Trying to trying to thread the needle was the hardest part. Um, but once I got it on the Lowry stand, because it does turn, I was able to, um, I used, used one strand of DMC and, and um, doubled it over so I could just do the loop start so it was much easier for me to do. And um, then I just rested my arm on the stand because I didn't have to get to the other place. So well, I kind of studied well, it. there's a way. Absolutely. She was going to get it done. Absolutely. So that is what I have currently. Um, I do have a lot of other whips, but I have not touched them. So um, that's all I have. So what do you have? I only have two. Okay, that's <laughs> too bad. You have, I have three, but that's all right. Um, one of them is one of the reasons why I could not join in cross stitch camp. Well, both of them are actually. Um, both of them are Blackbird designs, and I have never done anything by Blackbird designs. Go figure. I mean, I've got. Oh my gosh! Pardon me. I've got books, but I haven't done one either. But I decided I wanted to, and this one I'm doing is called. Let's see. What is it called here? Uh, blah, blah. home for Christmas and here is a picture of it down here and I'm doing it on a 16 count white Ada and I substituted DMC for the um, fancy floss that it called for I had nothing close to it mm -hmm. and I figured I could pretty much do what I wanted as far as that goes for the colors. They were red and green. So this is where I am on that. I'm almost done. I have mm -hmm. one more row of alphabet in the personalization there and to finish the house in the holly here and here. So that's looking good. Now, do you yeah. find when you stitch your um, alphabets that it goes pretty fast for you or yes. no? Yeah, I think so too. I don't Except, know why. Except except i'm looking at this and i'm going l m o p q <laughs> there's no n and if you notice there is no n and that stopped me i'm like huh <laughs> but there is no n there is it, no n there is no, no n <laughs> I, I just looked at the pattern so there's no n there is yes. But it stopped me cold. I looked at it and I go, oh, what did I do wrong? You know, and, and so the panic yes. is and you're going back and you're reading the pattern and everything like that. But yeah. no, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's going to be a neat little ornament. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm doing that one. And so, then the other is out of the Winds of Autumn Blackbird booklet. One that I said, you know, I'm late to the party. <laughs> I'm doing Spell of the Moon. Mm -hmm. And... <clears throat> I am again not using the classic color works or gel arts. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just I'm using DMC 
Um, but they have offered the um, alternative in there, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm using. I'm doing this on the 32-count uh, Silver Moon Laguna. And uh, Lugana, excuse me. I always want to say that wrong. But that's as far as I am. So I'm getting pretty close to being done. There's a haunted mm -hmm. house here and the rest of the tree in the border. Mm -hmm. And then that will be done. So I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. I don't know why. I just loved the little owl. I just thought he was cute. so cute. Mm -hmm. um, so I have an idea of how I want to finish him. And so once this uh, gets done, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm real pleased. I know there are several other people who are working mm -hmm. on this design. And I just thought it was so cute. And since I had it available... I'm going to do that. You know what I would uh, what I would like to do, and I don't I I'd have to order it, but I think with one of the Halloween ones that I, um in the future that I would like to do is to get the glow in the dark thread. Oh yeah. I think when I was looking at the moon there, I thought, oh, yeah. oh that or would be even his eyes. Yes, that would be just so neat. <laughs> well, they have in here, and I've got to. I don't know if you can see this. It's a, um, oh, a for the black beaded trim. Uh -huh. They have a Hobby Lobby number on it. I don't know if you can see on there the beaded trim. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm going to try and see if I can't get that from Hobby Lobby. Because mm -hmm. I think the, the beaded kind of tassel trim would look cool that on would, it. It would. So I, I may, may attempt that. But those are my two. And both of them Blackbird Design. There are so many I would love oh. to do in this book. Oh, my gosh. I just, there are just so many. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, no, I have never, never stitched Blackbird Designs before. Nope. And now I'm doing two. And because I couldn't wait, I couldn't participate <laughs> in cross-stitch camp. I will stay away from that 36 count. I swear, I swear, I swear until August 1st. All right. I'm going to hold Maybe. you to it. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> there. Anyhow, that's my whips. <laughs> All right. Um, so, go ahead with your haul. Haul is the next area, is our next um, category. And I do have a little bit of haul. Not much. But, um, put one out. Uh, yes, I got some um, material from um, <clears throat> Cross Stitching Supplies, the lady that I had uh, recommended before. I got some 36 count country mocha. Vintage country mocha. Have you worked with 36 count before? No, I have not. But you know what? Once I put my um, higher magnifications on, I can see it. So I'm going to attempt it on, on something. I guess it's like this 32 count. It's like it's a breeze. It's now. Yes. It's like, mm -hmm. But um, it's like the, the lady Daisy K. Primitives. I think she does everything on 36 count. It's like that's her default, mm -hmm. you know. One and it's like I could see going to 32 count. I'm hoping that I like the 36 count. Well, I like the even weave to me, it's easier to see. So yeah. I don't know how I will do with the linen because, um, I, it's just I've tried linen before and it just it bothers me too much. So I'll give it another shot. And if it doesn't, then I'll just stay with the 32 count as my highest in, in an even weave. And then, um, from um, the cross stitching, cross stitching supply. Um, I got 32 count um, antique white Laguna, Lagana. Lagana. I know. I Laguna, can't, Lagana. I cannot say that um, right. I got a 27 by 36 um, thing, which only cost $22. So, oh, well, good the there. silver moon that you gave me for my yes. birthday. Oh my, that is so yes. nice. I mean, it's beautiful mm -hmm. material. It really is. Mm -hmm. So give them a try. Absolutely, absolutely. And no, um, we get nothing back no, from it. No, we do but. not. No, we do not. I just, I, 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 I like her customer service. Um, every time I put an order in, I get a nice letter from her, or an email, I should say, uh, thanking me for her order or um, thank you again for your order. So she knows when you are a repeat customer. Yeah. And you always get a little. Um, um, a little something off uh, for your next purchase. And it can be on needles. It could be on anything. Um, um, so, you know, give her a shot. So, um, the next I have is my next two in the Go Sledding Ornament Club, which is the Annie B's Folk Art. So, I have... Okay. There you go. There, there we, we go. go. You got it. I like those. And then I have... Those are cool. Those. 
And I have yet to start on any of them. Oh, now those would be a fun thing for Jolly July, too. Maybe I, maybe pick one along with the pink hair. And pink I, I think I, I would like to do that. And then I picked up through mm -hmm, Crazy Annie Stitching. <laughs> I knew Annie was in there. <laughs> um, she was offering a special on the Bent Creek um, Egg Series. Oh, yeah, I did see that yes. come through. So I... Um, I went ahead and purchased them, so I got the turkey, turkey, turkey on an egg, <laughs> chick on an egg, <laughs> cardinal on an egg. Oh, I like cardinal. The eagle on yeah. the lake. I like the eagle. Yeah. I also got owl on an egg and robin but on an egg, but there were no photos on it, and all you would get is the pattern, and I don't want to... Oh, and I see you've got the yeah, little embellishments. All the, ch the charms came with it, yes. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did, which I think was, it was good. Then I purchased some uh, charts from Etsy. And this, I, I actually, I, I know. Oh, I love this. I saw this from um, Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching. And uh, unfortunately, by the time that you see this, it won't get uploaded until Saturday, I mean, Sunday or Monday. We couldn't uh, get it stitched any. <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, they, had a, they had a sale on this. Yeah. And it ends, it ends today, which is uh, the third, so... But anyway, check her out. It is um, Cross Stitch Designs by Rhonda Knopf. Knopf, K-N-A-U-F. And it's the Miss Prim. And it is George and Martha Washington. Are they not adorable? I two pillows. Oh, my gosh. They were too cute. Those are amazing. So I love those. That, yeah. Those would be great to do for next year for the four. Yep. But it I'd have been. to start them now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Looks like there's a lot of stitching in it. But it doesn't look like they're too terribly huge. You know, I, I just brought this photo. I don't, That's I mean, fine. I just printed out the photo, so but I don't know. I was know going that. by the size of the mug there. Yeah, I don't, I think, yeah. Because it looks like a, a pottery coffee mug, you know, mm -hmm. like so maybe it's like a little this. bit above it. So it's maybe a little bit above yeah. it. It's not massive, you know, like. Tell yeah, them, so I adorable. thought that was really cute. Then I went over to um, the Whistle Stop Stitcher Designs, and that's my favorite one. Right there. Yes, this one is us personified. <laughs> yeah, the mountains are calling. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are calling, and we hope possibly to be up in the mountains next month. And if we do, if all goes well, and we do, we will be meeting up with our friend Sherry. Yeah. And um, which I almost did when we yes, were up there for yes. our anniversary. And she was very disappointed. So was I. We were locked out. <laughs> yes, they locked themselves out of their. They lost their key to their cabin. What is um, this? They. I had was not in charge of the key. <laughs> <laughs> hubby was. <laughs> so hubby lost the key. But and, we were supposed to yes. get together with Sherry and meet her. And then it went so late when they got somebody there to drill out the lock and everything. So it was, it's a yeah. sad story. But it, were, it I mean, it went well. Yes. It was just one of those things. And that was the only time we had, because it was a very short trip yeah. to see her. But I was disappointed, but next time. Yeah, so hopefully we get up, um, you know, next month we would like to get up. And um, if we do, we would like to be able to do a... Um, film up there with her in the mountains, you know, go into the park oh, and, that'd be cool. and then um, you get to see a different type of scenery. You actually get uh, beautiful scenery. So we would have to work all those logistics out. But anyway, um, yes, we got to see if it's possible. Yeah, we got to, um, yeah, I got to see if I can get off work and she's got other appointments. So it would just be a real quick up and down. It would be a, a really long weekend, but we'd have to work it in. Anyway, um, back to the whistle stop <laughs> stitcher designs. It's kind of not in my notes, but just, that's okay. <laughs> I went way off. Um, I downloaded her Christmas triplets series, um, and this one is um, Merry Christmas. 
Those are cute. Those are so cute. You can do those. Yes. You can do those pillows. I can do. Well, mm -hmm. Holly Jolly. <laughs> she can do those pillows, Whoops. I'm telling you. Holly Jolly. And unfortunately, my, my ink started running out. And the last one is Tis the Season. Which is not really that color. No, it's not really that color. <laughs> but that's okay. It's good. Then I downloaded um, only one of her Halloween triplet series, which is the um, Happy Halloween. I liked that one. And then I downloaded her Autumn Triplets series. So this one is Harvest. Give Thanks. And Falling Leaves. I thought those were adorable. They are. And then I have two more. Um, from Twin Peak Primitives. I, down I looked at those. Ooh. They came that close. Um, their new Black Halloween series. Oops, there we go. Absolutely love those. Now, I love getting them black. But I think it would be kind of interesting to do it in a different color, too, like orange or something like oh, that. Good. You know, I think, you know, you could. Yeah, just to me. And then the last one um, is a, a, a stitch along that my that Sherry is doing from um, Willow Creek um, <clears throat> Stitches. Mm -hmm. She is doing it with someone else from Instagram. It's the Sasuma Street um, Otonio. But they're doing all the seasons. I just bought the one for the fall, and I'm going to start on that also. I don't know what the hashtags or anything are with that, because um, I just got it. So that is my haul. Wow. So. Shouldn't the uh, Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue be coming out this Yes, week? it should be. I did start, I did see a, um, a couple of photos of it on Facebook. But I, did, I but Peggy, I don't think Peggy put anything out yet. But, mm -mm. So mm -hmm. no. that should be coming along. So yeah, I can't wait. And then Christmas should be coming out. Does it come out in September? September. Yeah, right so, around September. Yeah, cool. I really don't have that much haul. It it looks like it, but I don't. Um, I have to blame Helen D for this. <laughs> I watched her. And she had gotten this book from Emma Congdon. It's called Cross Stitch for the Earth, which is what I did that one hoop thing in. Mm -hmm. And um, I will show you this instead of leafing through. There are just so many. Let's see if I can get them up there of the designs. They are just, whoa, they are just... Mm -hmm really neat you can see some on the back this one right here i love um my biggest problem with most of these <laughs> is they're they're not huge pieces they're they're maybe eight by tens mm -hmm. you know um but still i have limited the way I, my house is it's it's an open concept and um so between the kitchen, dining room, and living room, there really is no walls. Mm -hmm. um, there's front wall, but that has windows. And there's the back wall, which has the sliding glass, glass doors door. out mm -hmm. to a patio. So it's like there's not a lot of wall space, space for uh -huh. displaying things. So um, I have in here, but I still want to do a couple of these um, it's like this little one right here. Enjoy all the little things. I can do the, the little hoop ones mm -hmm. and that, and then those can be interchanged out yes. just uh -huh. for, um, you know, mm -hmm. what ever you feel like at the moment. So, having got that one, I went down the rabbit, rabbit hole and saw she had another one that's called Cross Stitch for the Soul. <laughs> Am I kind of? And I got that one. And this, too, has, um, it has a lot of designs that are, uh, what do I want to say? Motivational? They're, yeah, kind motivational. of inspirational, mm -hmm. motivational. You know, every day may not be good, but there is some good in every day. Bloom where you are planted. They just, there's a lot of really kind of neat ones in here and I will probably 
uh, like the best view comes after the hardest climb. I like that one. Again, mm -hmm. it's a it's a hoop one, and so I will probably do believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, yes. Um, those can be interchanged out. You can hang those from a doorknob. Yeah. Yes. Um, so there are places other than having to put a picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yep, you know absolutely uh so i will probably do some of those too i liked both of those books it's it's um uh, just one of those things if you feel like and they're all done on 14 count 14 or 28 count mm -hmm. so um it's not like you're going to be having to scrounge to find and basically all dmc yeah. you know so it's it's real easy for one of those times when you go I want to do something, but, you know, I don't want to get into something really complicated. Mm -hmm. And she just has a nice, uh, a nice Aesthetic. way with color. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, um, I really like it. Then the last one is I belong to this uh, cross-stitch Christmas. It used to be Better Homes and Gardens, and it went to Meredith Books, and now it's Craftways. And they do the hardcover mm -hmm. book once a year. Oh, I can't begin to show you all the pictures in here. Um, I love that one. This one is so cute. There's that one. There's um, there's a lot on the back. You can see they have some Scandinavian designs. They just have some adorable things in mm -hmm. here. I have about 20 years worth of Yeah. Somebody had one the other day and said they were doing something out of one that they got off of eBay. And they said they uh, don't buy it on Amazon or something. Somebody was wanting $400 for it. I was like, Whoa. Um, I know they're kind of hard to find, the older ones, but you can look and you can find them. Mm -hmm. um, then it comes with this. It always has kind of a, a an extra leaflet in there. And these are adorable. I just... I think those are so cute. They use a lot of the um, <clears throat> beads and things. They're mm -hmm. just they're just cute little things, you know. To uh, I like those too. Mm -hmm. Again, the colors are very bright. They are not just always the traditional red and green. Right. They um, so they add a little bit more color. These. Two. I love these. Yes, those are adorable. I absolutely love those. I think that is just so cool. But anyhow, that's all the haul that I got this time. Oh, yeah, I bought some upholstery thread. Yay, me. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't feel the need to show that, um, you know, but. Uh, well, I have a question for you. I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I was, and I don't remember who I was watching or if it was something that I saw on Facebook or on Pinterest. I can't remember. But I thought this was very interesting. Each year for Christmas, they plan their Christmas theme for their house. Oh, I think that's an awesome idea. I just, um, I don't know if I could do that. Years ago, I think I could have. Um, I don't know now if I could. I don't know because to me, because I don't have a way to store. Yeah, all the different. But to me, Christmas, I like the classic Christmas. You know, the old school, the, the old school Christmas. Those, yeah. you know, like the old Santas and everything like you should that. See her tree! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, the ornaments are so awesome, and everyone is just placed so perfectly. It is just covered. <laughs> they're it is. thrown on there. No, they're not. Because I'm just, usually tired when I put it no, on. No, they're not. It's just they really are. I'm trying to build up. I mean, we have ornaments and that, but it's like through the years and with kids and with cats and with dogs. Things get broken. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, do they. And mm -hmm. so um, when you're left with one. Oops. We're, well, I don't know if we stopped. Okay, I think we're going to have to stop this. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Technical, we, the <laughs> camera froze. It didn't like us. No. <laughs> so anyway, back to the theme. Yes, what I was saying was um, we have had to add to the ornaments. Mm -hmm. And then again, we don't do a real tree down here because it's always no. so hot in uh, they just, they don't, they're a fire hazard, they're mm -hmm. everything else, they dry out so much, so um, 
we did have to retire our tree last year. We got a new artificial tree. Yep. It's a little different shape. Um, we have very we have cathedral ceilings in there, so I have very tall ceilings. I don't have a lot of wide space, so the tree mm -hmm. is more narrow. Mm -hmm. um, but there is more real estate to cover, so that's yes. why I said yeah. And then some my old cross stitch ornaments are uh -huh. looking a little tacky, well, and because my finishing was not. The well, greatest. Well, on some of those, I think you probably could refinish them. Uh, maybe. Um, there's a couple that I have found the patterns for that I could restitch well, as well and refinish. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I wanted to do the six new ornaments. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I'm always looking to add to it. But mm -hmm. I think it would be a really neat idea to have a theme every year. I do. I just um, I couldn't deviate too terribly much because of... Uh, storage space. Yeah, that would um, be that was my my first thought is storage. So you know, some of them might be like a a, a woodsy theme, or um, that would be great to do in different rooms of your house. Yes, but again, the storage. That, yeah, that's, that's that's the thing. And um, being here in Florida, we have no we have no um, basement. No, um, we have an but, attic. And boy, I learned the hard way with the last hurricane when it blew off half the roof. Mm -hmm. Everything else, you don't want anything in the attic because it's going. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> gone so, with the wind. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, well, it's just interesting. So, I would be very interested to know if any of you have themed Christmases. And if so, what nice. are your themes? Yeah, what, what are have your you themes? Used? Yes. That yeah. would be an mm -hmm. interesting idea. Yeah, you know? I thought. Um, and I know it's so early, to, even though it's Jolly July, to be talking about Christmas. No, it's not. But. It's Let not. me tell you, when I went to um, Hobby Lobby last weekend, I was there Saturday, all of their fall stuff is out, and they had Christmas out already. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was like, what? I, can't, I shouldn't say that because I'm doing a Christmas ornament. Oh, well, here, I, so, I do Christmas you know, all year but, round because Christmas is my favorite thing to, to cross-stitch. But I was just so shocked. I saw wrapping uh, out. I saw I'm not ready for that Christmas mm -hmm. um, ornaments out. The trees were not out yet, but I mean, they had like two or three rows of Christmas stuff out already, and it was like, oh my goodness, you know, we haven't um, even got, last week, it wasn't even in July yet, so. I'm not ready hmm. for that. But anyway, I'd be very interested to know what you have if yeah. you do a theme Christmas. I, I think that would be fun to know. I think that would be really neat, especially mm -hmm. because we try to do something special on Christmas Eve. Yes, we do. Um, and we've often had, uh, when the family... You know, when we had more people to get together, uh, we would run some sort of contest or yep. something. So it was very similar to having a theme. Yes, it was. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, so, gosh, yes. You know, let us know, just out of curiosity, what you do. That's that's a neat idea. Yep. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So, plans. Plans. Um, we are thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use that. Loosely. <laughs> yeah. No, um... I, I watched an episode that uh, Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher, did, and she uh, garnered some information on how often people like to see uh, new floss tubes come out with your channel mm -hmm. and um, how long they like to have them be. You know, what, what will they sit and watch? Mm -hmm. And the average time that they liked was 45 to 60 minutes. And I would have swore it would have been 30 to 45. Yeah, I would have said that too. Because of the fact, you know, I very seldom am able to sit and watch a 60-minute mm -hmm. video At start once. to yes. finish. Mm -hmm. But maybe that doesn't bother people, mm -hmm. you know, that they can pick up or whatever. But 45 to 60 minutes seemed to be the ideal. And she had, I don't know how many responses, thousands, okay? <laughs> not, <laughs> not 10. Um, and the other thing was uh, the ideal time between episodes was 2 to three weeks mm -hmm. um, quite a few people said that if they didn't see people on a regular schedule every two to three weeks they tend tended to forget about their channel yes. um, and I can see where that can happen yes um, we have talked about that and mm -hmm. right now for us to do one the way we're doing mm -hmm. <clears throat> more than once a month is like an impossibility. Yes. Number one, you would be seeing us uh, the same pieces 
that we're doing with 10 more stitches in it mm -hmm. because um, neither one of us can devote our entire day or existence to stitching yeah. not that we wouldn't like to yes. but um, <laughs> it's it's just not a possibility no. right now mm -mm. so we were we have been brainstorming uh, between us as to what we could do uh, to bring you some content we don't intend to let it go six weeks like it did no that this was just time. This was, right un unforeseen but circumstances you never know what's going to happen yes. none of us do no. but we have been talking about what we could do to bring content mm -hmm. and we think we may have stumbled upon an idea yes. to uh, present something like every couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. It will not be in this format. No. Um, it would be an entirely different format and I don't want to promise anything because we haven't attempted this yet. <laughs> yes. Um, we will do a test run to see if it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it would be a much shorter one. Yes, absolutely. Um, and we were thinking of calling it our mid-month journal. Mm -hmm. um, and it may include um, some more personal things. Um, by personal, I mean maybe more about our surroundings of where we're at. Mm -hmm. um, if there is anything that is... Uh, Neither one of us lived to, near Disney, so you're not going to see Disney. Yes, you won't see Disney. Okay. <laughs> but you may see some other points of interest, you know, mm -hmm. maybe five minutes of something like that, as well as some stitching. Yes. Um, we're also contemplating uh, putting in a, a Q&A segment. Mm -hmm. So, um, as well as letting us know what your... Christmas themes are, or mm -hmm. if you do that, if in the meantime here, you would like to pose some questions to us, um, we would each, in this segment, maybe mm -hmm. pick one or two to answer as best we could. Mm -hmm. Now, questions within reason. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gotta, gotta understand, there will be some parameters here. Um, but maybe there's something you want to know about us, you know, mm -hmm. or if not, hey, Whatever, but if there is something or something you would like to see us discuss, yes. mm -hmm. please put it out there because we, we'd like to try this format and see yes. um, if we can A, get it to work, and mm -hmm. B, if it would be something you would be interested in. Right. Um, we certainly would not abandon the stitching. Oh, that is not, no, This no, is no. a floss tube channel. Yes. This is primarily about stitching. Mm -hmm. But I also know that I enjoy um, finding out a little bit about the Place, people yes. and the places they're at. Yes. I don't mm -hmm. expect it to be a travel log because... No. Um, we don't travel. I, <laughs> not right now, anyhow. I haven't for the last year. Um, but it's, it's just kind of interesting because your environment impacts your stitching. Let's mm -hmm. face it. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So um, we thought that might be something you might be interested in. So if you would be so kind as to maybe think of a question or two that you would like to have us answer, mm -hmm. we will try to pick one and we will see if we can get this format going yes. and try to get one out in a couple of weeks. And I, I say this not as a, a definite because we don't know if it's going to work. We're going to try. The premise is, is that both of us will film a five to ten minute video. She will send hers to me, and I will try to put it all together and upload it. Um, so if I can receive her... If I can get... I have terrible internet here. <laughs> she has... Yes, her internet... That's going to be the biggest She lives issue. in the country, but also, too, there is a limit of how much you can send over the uh, into an email. Yeah. So, so I yeah. we don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, so we're going to try to keep it to kind of short... Mm -hmm. Um, if I have to send several segments, I can do several yes, segments. Yes, because I, I can put it um, together. Right. Um, this is what we're going to mm -hmm. try mm -hmm. to do to see if we can get it to work. If we can't, we'll come up with some other ideas. Or even if you have any ideas yes, for us. But we would like to bring you content. Yes. We would like to bring you content that you would be interested, interested in. in. Yes. Um, so mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments. And uh, we'll yeah. do what we can to see what we can come up with. Absolutely. And uh, we are getting very close, thank you very much, yes. to reaching our 500 subscribers. Yay. Now, if 
you guys work really hard here. <laughs> Liking and subscribing and sharing, yes. we may make that we by the might. next one. You never know. <laughs> um, we have uh, some ideas of some, you know, celebratory things we can share with everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so once we reach that 500 mark, we will let you all know what mm -hmm. is uh, going to be in the works for us. Yeah. Yeah. And it might be pretty nice for you. Yes. <laughs> Yes. We're hoping to make it very yes, nice. Yes, we for do. You. Absolutely. And um, you know, it's 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 amazing to me that well, I think we're at four hundred and twenty seven the last time I looked. Yeah. And to me that's kind of that's that's amazing. I honestly never really gave that we would have that many. The to thing me. is because we haven't really we no. have not been organized enough or um been able to really work a schedule and and give this the mm -hmm. total respect that it deserves yes. because of time, distance, and life. Yes. And we're trying to do that. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to that point to be able yes. to. So to have that many at this juncture, man, love you people. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> sticking with absolutely. Us. We we enjoy this. Um, it, it's nice to be back together doing this again. Yes. Um, it's been a long time. We've been, been through a lot this last six weeks. So um, we do appreciate you hanging in there. Um, yeah, so we are looking forward to um, our 500 subscribers and, um, yeah. you know, being able to thank you all with some nice gifts. Also, you know what else we forgot? What? We waited till the very end. She can be found on Instagram. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> under Smoky Mountain Stitchers. Stitchers. And I can be found on Instagram under SmokesMom88. Mm -hmm. And if I answer your comments, it'll be under LTurk88. Yeah. I am not a stalker. This is me. <laughs> it's just my Google account. Um, yes, but you can find us there. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to post quite regularly on Instagram um, during that time period, that three-week period. There was nothing really that got no. out there. Um, I'm trying to get back on the stick with it the more i do the more i have to share mm -hmm. um so you can find us there as well as here on youtube Absolutely. and there is an email it is smoky mountain girls i think it yeah, is smoky mountain girls at gmail.com gmail mm -hmm. so um you could reach us there as well absolutely but the best way to do it is to leave whatever you have yeah. to say in the comments mm -hmm. because we do read those and yes, try to reply yes we do and I guess the only other words of wisdom I have uh -huh. is do not mess in the affairs of a dragon, for you are crunchy and tastes good with ketchup. Okay. <laughs> and on that, we're going to leave you. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to close now. <laughs> oh, thank you all for watching. Um, we hope that our new segment will work. And um, please answer, um, give us feedback on, on anything that you've had. Like, Whether subscribe, it's, and share. Absolutely. Even if it's, even if it's uh, criticism, we take that. And we do not take offense of it. No, because mm -hmm. we want to get good content out there yes, for you. Yes, absolutely. We really do. Absolutely. So with that, we will bid you adieu. Bye. Bye.